Uh, it is this notion that that science is of not of great interest to us in some sense. That that somehow we don't want to learn. You see, people read the stock market quotations and financial pages. Look how complex that is. And because yeah, they learned. know the direct connection to their own. There's a motivation, but they're capable. Of large numbers of people. People are able to look at sports statistics. Look how many people can do that. Understanding science is not more difficult than that. It doesn't involve greater intellectual activities. But the, the thing about science is, first of all, it's after the way the universe really is and not what makes us feel good. And a lot of the competing doctrines are after what feels good and not what what's okay. true. Okay, but you got to make, I'm not sure you'll go this far with me, but I mean, there's a lot of that that is about feeling good and there's a lot of that that's about hocus pocus, but at the same time, there are millions of people who understand science does not prove religion, but because religion is faith-based. And faith. therefore, you should de not deny the value of it because it is faith-based and not science. But let's, but let's, let's, look, let's look a little more deeply into that. What is faith? It is belief in the absence of evidence. Now, I don't propose to tell anybody what to believe, but for me, believing when there's no compelling evidence is a mistake. The idea is to withhold belief until there is compelling evidence. And if the universe does not comply with our predispositions, okay, then we have the wrenching obligation to uh, accommodate to the way the universe but I think really you could, is. You, I mean, but I mean, you, so you step forward to say, I deny all religion because I can't see no, it proved no, no, no. scientifically. No, no, no. You see, and the it, value it, of religious it, experience it, and the value of, 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 of reaching for higher experiences. Let me say, religion deals with history, with poetry, with great literature, with ethics, with morals, including the morality of uh, treating compassionately the least fortunate among us. All of these are things that I endorse wholeheartedly. Where religion gets into trouble is in those cases that it pretends to know something about science. The science in the Bible, for example, was acquired by the Jews from the Babylonians during the Babylonian captivity of 600 BC. That was the best science on the planet then. But we've learned something since then. Roman Catholicism, uh, Reformed Judaism, most of the mainstream Protestant denominations have no difficulty with uh, the idea that humans have evolved from other creatures, that uh, the Earth is 4.6 billion years old, with the Big Bang, they don't have any trouble with that. The trouble comes with people who are biblical literalists, right. who believe that the Bible is dictated by the creator of the universe to an unerring stenographer. And so therefore they... And, and has no metaphor or allegory. And from it. there they make their political and economic choices uh, and social and, choices and scientific and scientific choices and, and scientific and that's part of your problem with that idea exactly. it is that because for the wrong reasons we make the wrong choices about science that's right so who is more humble the scientist who looks at the universe with an open mind and accepts whatever the universe has to teach us or somebody who says everything in this book must be considered the literal truth and never mind the fallibility of all the human beings involved in the writing of this book. Mm -hmm.